other factor that affecting the immiscible displacement. So first we define the immiscible displacement. Displacement or pushing of fluid by another fluid, there being no mixing of the fluid. So for example, displacement of oil by water. For miscible displacement, meaning that pushing of a fluid by another fluid, but these two fluid is mixing up. So the two fluid can mix upon contact. For example, when you displace oil by CO2, and the CO2 can be dissolved in the oil. So in immiscible displacement, displacement of oil and water by water may occur under two conditions, which is the vertical equilibrium or diffusive flow. And first, we will learn on the vertical equilibrium. Under vertical equilibrium, the fluid in the reservoir will distribute in line with capillary gravity equilibrium. So in Darcy unit, uh, this will be the equation. So PC at a certain uh, saturate water saturation equals to delta P G Y cos theta over 1.0133 times 10 to the power of 6. And in the fill unit, so you have PC SW equals to 0 0.4335 delta gamma Y cos theta. So the Y here is this one, the distance between A and X. And you have, this is delta rho GZ, which is the capillary pressure. And this is your water saturation. So this is for when um, your reservoir has a certain angle. So it's like maybe at the edge, edge, uh, edge water drive. So the water is pushing the oil here. And your oil is from this vertical tangent here. So vertical equilibrium is favored under this following condition. When you have a large vertical permeability, KV, this should be small v, KV. When you have a small reservoir thickness, which is H, you, it will favor when you have a large density difference between the fluid, a high capillary force, meaning a large capillary, transition zone H, and low fluid viscosity and low injection rates. The second one will be diffuse flow. So under diffuse flow condition, the fluid saturation at any point in the linear displacement plate are uniformly distributed with respect to the thickness. Means water saturation is same at any point on the plane. So when you have a water injection here, you will start to produce, but it is constant. So one minus, uh, your water saturation here is 1 minus uh, oil residual water saturation. And after that, you will get the connect water saturation. Diffuse flow is favored under this following condition. Displacement at a low injection rate in the reservoir for which the capillary transition zone greatly exceeds the reservoir thickness. And the vertical equilibrium equilibrium condition applies. Secondly, this displacement occurs at very high injection rate so that the effect of capillary and gravity force are negligible. So the vertical equilibrium condition is not satisfied for this because uh, the effect of capillary is negligible. So we will use diffuse flow at these two conditions. 